Okay, so can you solve this basic math problem without the aid of a calculator? Well, a lot of you are going to get this wrong, and it's not because you don't understand how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract numbers. It's because you don't understand this acronym right here, PEMDAS, which is all about something called the order of operations. Now, most math teachers, math courses, and math books use this acronym PEMDAS uh, to teach the order of operations. There are uh, other acronyms, but, but uh, PEMDAS is by far the most common. All right, so let's see how you do with this problem. Again, the only rule here is no calculator. And the problem is four divided by parentheses, three minus five parentheses times two. What is the correct answer? Well, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the right answer in just one second, and then I'm gonna walk through the solution to this problem step by step so you understand the correct order of operations. This uh, is probably one of the most common uh, places where uh, students make errors in mathematics. So you definitely wanna pay attention to what I have to say in this video. But uh, before I get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as this definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is one of these numbers right here. Now, obviously, one number is right and the other number is wrong. And there could be, obviously, infinite, uh, infinite amount of wrong answers. But uh, probably the most common wrong answer is one of these numbers. Okay, so that's why I have it here. So if you see your answer, that is fantastic. So somebody did this right and somebody did this wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and identify the correct answer. So if you answered with negative one, you did that wrong. The correct answer is indeed negative four. All right, so for those of you that did um, come up with negative one, you probably made the most common uh, mistake when it comes to the order of operations. And I'm glad you made that mistake because this uh, video is going to straighten out this confusion. And from this point forward, you're gonna be looking like this person. But uh, if you got this right, we have to give you an A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of order of operations and uh, PEMDAS. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So here is our problem, and uh, we need to understand something, and that is what is a mathematical operation? I'm saying the order of operations, but in mathematics, these things like this, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even uh, powers, these are things we can do with numbers, and these uh, things right here specifically are mathematical operators. In case we're talking about mathematical operations, and when we have a problem that has more than one type of operation, we need to know the correct order to do the problem. Because if we uh, just kind of randomly say, you know what, I want to kind of do multiplication first, and then I'll do addition, then maybe I'll go to division and back to multiplication. Well, depending on the, uh, the order you take, okay, you can come up with all different sorts of values. Of course, there's only one correct uh, order, and that order is this acronym right here. This is effectively a checklist for us, and I'm gonna go ahead and explain this right now. All right, so this checklist, PEMDAS, works from left to right, and uh, these letters stand for something. And before I explain to you what these letters stand uh, for, okay, let me give you a little memory aid here, and that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This uh, phrase and acronym has been around for years. Probably my great-great-grandparents were saying this way back in the good old days. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, the correct order of operations right now. All right, so P, what does P stand for? P stands for parentheses, okay? And obviously we have some parentheses here, but a P also stands for uh, brackets or these kind of little squiggly brackets like this. Uh, really, P stands for grouping symbols, okay? So if you see numbers grouped together by parentheses, brackets, or squiggly brackets, this is, this is where we start. Now, something uh, about uh, parentheses, uh, if you have multiple sets of parentheses, you want to work from the innermost parentheses first, 
Okay. All right, so we don't have that situation, but we definitely have parentheses. Now let's move on to our next letter, which is E. Now E stands for powers. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're saying powers, but uh, this is E. Why doesn't, you know, how come we don't have a P here if you're saying powers? Well, when we look at a power, something like two to the third power, this little number up here to the top right is something called an exponent. This big number down here is called the base, and this entire thing is referred to as the power. So E really stands for exponents, but you can think of it as uh, powers. Okay, so here is the most common uh, place of confusion when it comes to the order of operations, and it's with these letters right here, uh, particularly M and D. All right, so before I tell you that, let's just make sure you understand what M, D, A, and S stand for. M is multiplication, D is division, A is addition, S is subtraction. All right, now uh, most of you might be you know, thinking, well, if this is a checklist that goes from left to right, and this is where most people get themselves in trouble with the, with the order of operations, it's a checklist that goes from left to right, so I have to do multiplication first every single time. If I have both multiplication and division in a problem, I gotta do all the multiplication, then I move on to division, and then after that, I go on to addition and subtraction. This is not the way this works, okay? And I don't think that, uh, uh, if you got this wrong, I think a lot of um, uh, textbooks and uh, maybe some teachers don't emphasize this as much because again, this is a highly confused area. So let's go ahead and talk about how it actually works. Okay, so M and D and A and S are actually groups. So what you're going to do here with multiplication and division is you're going to do uh, multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. In other words, if I see division and then multiplication, I'm gonna do it this way. So my acronym could be DM, but if I have multiplication and then division, I'll do it this way. So you have to consider what's going on from left to right, and addition and subtraction work the same way. All right, so uh, this, again, is one of the, the most commonly uh, confused parts of the order of operations. And if you confuse this, this is why you came up with that negative one answer. Um, if you, as a matter of fact, let's just go back here. If you get, yes, if indeed, if you got negative one as your answer, it's probably because you confuse this part, but that's gonna be easy to fix. Hopefully you're like, oh, okay, I see where I made my mistake and that's fantastic. But let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Uh, of course, now, that I explained the correct order of operations. If you didn't know it, maybe you wanna go ahead and try this problem all over again. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what do we do first? Well, we are thinking to ourselves, uh, PEMDAS, all right? This guy's saying PEMDAS, what do I do first? It's just a checklist, right? So you ask, you ask yourself, do I have any parentheses? Yes, indeed, I have parentheses right here. So this is where we have to focus. Okay, we have to do this step uh, first. You have three minus five. Now, if you don't know your positive and negative numbers, well, then you may not have known the answer here. But uh, if you um, didn't understand that three minus five is negative two, because that is the correct answer, uh, you might wanna review some basic math. Let me give you a quick suggestion. You might wanna check out my Math Foundations course. It's just a basic uh, kind of math boot camp. It's a small course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, anyways, three minus five is negative two. All right, so three minus five is the same thing as three plus negative five. All right, so hopefully you understand that. So this now is our problem. Okay, we have four divided by negative two uh, times positive two. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, this is where we have to be thinking about our PEMDAS again, right? So, okay, did I do? Uh, everything in parentheses, yes. Now, although there's parentheses right here, there's nothing uh, left to do inside the parentheses, so this step is effectively done. Okay, E, do I have any powers? Nope, I don't have any powers, no exponents there. Do I have multiplication and division? Yes, I do. Okay, what do I see first from left to right? Well, I see division before multiplication, so this is what we need to do first, okay? Now, if you looked at PEMDAS, you're like, okay, I gotta do multiplication next and then division, you would have done that, okay? And of course, you would end up with negative one. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So here, we're going to be doing division, right? Because we just uh, talked about that. This is what we see first from left to right. 
So 4 divided by negative 2, we're going to get that answer, then multiply by 2. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I want to uh, interrupt this video because this is really important for me. It, when you subscribe, it supports this channel. Uh, but really, you know, my channel is all about you know, helping as many people as I possibly can uh, in mathematics. Okay, I'm very passionate about preventing people from giving up on math because they think they are bad. The only reason someone is frustrated in math typically uh, is they're just not getting enough instruction and are not working hard enough. There are no shortcuts in math. So if you uh, want to learn math, you got to be willing to put in the work, but you need great instruction as well. And that's what I hope to uh, you know, provide to as many people as I possibly can. So when you subscribe, it really does help that algorithm, uh, you know, um, uh, put my content out there to as many people that could use my help. By the way, when you do subscribe, as far as I'm concerned, I look at you as a new student, okay? And uh, right now, at the time of this video, I have over half a million subscribers, so that kind of blows my mind. But every single one of you uh, that have subscribed or are watching this video right now, I'm very grateful for, but that's the way I look at it, okay? So if you want to support my work, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Not much work to do here because we're just talking about basic division and multiplication. So 4 divided by negative 2, positive uh, a positive number divided by a negative number is negative, so that's going to be negative 2 times a positive 2, which will give us negative 4 as the correct answer. But let's just do this problem wrong here. Okay, let's say we're just following the board of operations, you know, uh, PEMDAS, the way we think we understand it. Okay, and again, I've been doing this for decades and decades, and most students are just kind of quickly going through this checklist. All right, I did parentheses, there's no powers, now I'm going to do multiplication, so they just go right here. So if you were to do this, you would have what? Uh, 4 divided by negative 2 times 2. This is going to give us, let me do it right here, 4 divided by negative 2 times 2. That's negative 4. So 4 divided by negative 4 will give us a negative 1, which of course is not the correct answer of negative 4. That's why we have uh, the order of operations. But you know, don't feel bad if you got this problem wrong because, again, this is a highly confused area. And this is why I make these uh, videos. Okay, I actually um, have made quite a few videos on this uh, particular topic. No, I wanted a quick comment too. Some people, there is a little bit of a debate about, oh, you don't have to follow PEMDAS. The, that's not true. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, okay, 99.999% of math uh, books, math teachers teach and use the uh, order of operations as described by PEMDAS. If you use your calculator, okay, something like a TI-30 um, or any kind of scientific calculator, guess what? Your calculator is going to follow this order of operations. So, you know, um, uh, of course, I don't want to uh, deter you from believing something other than, you know, what you want to believe. But when it comes to mathematics in terms of what's taught, you know, middle school, high school, college, you got to know the correct order of operations as defined by PEMDAS. Okay, so uh, for those of you that do need additional help in this, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. Also, uh, a couple of courses um, that you can check out. I'll leave links to those in the description. One is my Math Foundations course if you want to just review basic math. If you really want to relearn a lot of math, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. That's a new course of mine. I teach you a lot of um, basic math, algebra, and geometry. And then I have all my main courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2. You can check those out as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.